Greg's back uh, from the co-op, but we're not necessarily talking the co-op. We're not talking about the co-op. I will mention how uh, the co-op is a big supporter of the Concord Coalition and homelessness. Absolutely. 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 No, I like that. That's good. <laughs> but, uh, well, it's no. the connection. It's the main connection. <laughs> Um, however, uh, no, we're here today to talk about uh, the Concord Coalition to End Homelessness. Uh, we have two great uh, guests here today, Ellen Grow, the executive director, and Michael Simchik, um, owner of uh, the uh, Hotel Concord, the new uh, uh, hotel in uh, the downtown area. and uh, Which I have not been in, but as I drive up and down the road, I love looking at the sign. In a- it just, it's, it's, it adds to, well, let's face it, we don't have an overly sexy <laughs> landscape from the highway. That looks great. You you yeah. have nice job. Have you seen it at night? Have you seen it? At yes. Night? Yes. Oh, it's awesome. No, Thank I you. love it. Great. You Thank truly you. do you. have to go in. Though I toured the facility uh, just recently. Unbelievable. Every room is unique. It's just done to the and you know you would you would think that the rate would be much higher than it is because it's just so lavishly done and, and views everywhere. It's 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 worth just going in there and and, and checking it out. Uh, um, and and you know it's the wonderful thing is one of the events that we are uh, the coalition is going to be uh, doing is a talent show. And that's right Correct. across the street. And I'll talk a little bit more about the talent show, but um, it's going to be at the uh, the new um, Bank of New Hampshire stage. Mm-hmm. And I would encourage anybody that is uh, going to the talent show, spend the night at the hotel. What a treat that would be. Thank you very much. No, no, a top floor. Are there views, glass? There, there are views all the way around, Peter. <laughs> um, and we actually have, there's 17 rooms up there. Yep. Um, 11 of those will have uh, access out onto the balcony. Wow. Um, so we've actually told people if you're going to do a, a, a fall foliage tour, right. just come and stay in a different room every night. You'll get a different view throughout oh. the month. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so now, perfect. see, I was thinking as, as we got spring into summer or summer into fall, we should do the show from one of the balconies some morning. Very easily done. You know, that would be fun. That'd be very Go out and do done. the show from the balcony. We're mm-hmm. looking at the cars. We're looking. Well, yeah, do the right beds, the bull, the do beds right. are really comfortable, too, so we might not start well, the yeah, show late. No, no. You know, I'm thinking. But you can do it from the bull nose side. There's a huge part of the balcony there, so yeah. it would be and a great view of downtown. I think it would be, oh, be a hoot. See, that, that, oh, that, that could be yeah. fun. Some, something to think about. So, so uh, why I, Michael's even here yeah. is he is a platinum sponsor for um, the our Superfest event, the uh, Concord Coalition to End Homelessness Superfest uh, event. Um, and that's a... a Big sponsorship, uh, big amount of money uh, for the coalition. And um, I just wanted him here today to say, you know, um, talk about why um, he wants to be involved with the coalition. Um, and, and uh, you know, as the, the, the Concord Co-op does, we have partnered with the Concord Coalition and Homelessness. Mm-hmm. Sure. Um, but um, I'm interested in his perspective um, as to why he's such a big supporter of the coalition and the work of, of, of the coalition. Um, and hopefully he'll encourage others to uh, support the uh, Concord Coalition yeah, and Homelessness. Thank you for stepping up. Yeah. No, thank you. Thank you. It's a, I guess it may sound a bit trite, but um, I guess the question would re- really be why wouldn't people support the Concord Coalition. I know. Um, it's, you know, it's, there's a couple of things in life that are really important, and I think it's very difficult for anyone to disagree with it, uh, and that would be uh, homelessness and hunger. Mm-hmm. And both of those really sen- tend to go hand in hand. Um, I don't think uh, the government will ever be able to solve those problems. Um, they can help, um, but they just can't solve them. It really depends, I believe, not just on local business people, um, but people doing things locally within their community um, at the business level and, and at the consumer level. And uh, we want to do our part. We've tried to do uh, a number of different things in that regard, <clears throat> excuse me, not only in Concord, but in Portsmouth, where we have some operations as well. Uh, hang on. You're not running for anything, are you? <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I am. I'm just saying, you've got a good stump speech there, just in case. Just saying. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think that would be a real problem. <laughs> but, in, you in know, many but, ways. But it, may, it, it does make complete sense to get involved, because if you're a local business, it's about the local. And this is definitely something yeah. that affects the local business community and the people that live and work here. Well, Concord's done, in my, my estimation, a wonderful job downtown with the revitalization of Main Street and everything that happens in that regard. Um, but this is another aspect of Concord community life right. that needs to be taken care of. And it's too often a forgotten and neglected aspect. No, and point. so, again, we just, we just feel that we'd like to put our money um, and our contributions and our efforts um, where they do the most good. And obviously, Ellen, efforts and money appreciated. Absolutely, oh, yeah. absolutely. Oh. We couldn't do this without the support of the community. It really is a, um, it benefits the entire community when people who are homeless are able to move on, move out of homelessness into permanent housing. So it just benefits everyone, and it does take the entire community to address this issue. Mm-hmm. Uh, what, what year Superfest is this, Greg? 
tenth tenth anniversary of Superfest. So um, wow. that's uh, this not this Saturday, but the right. following March thirtieth yeah. at uh, Runlet Middle School. Starts at uh, two p.m. and that's a uh, fun with the, fest with the fun for fest kids for the of all whole ages. Yep. Uh, fun fest and then uh, soup. The soup fest part of it starts at four p.m. Okay. Uh, we have thirty-five chefs this year. Seven are uh, local restaurants. Wow. There's a is that same up down from last year? Uh, well, we keep uh, at towards the end of the event. We're always very low on soup, mm-hmm. so we keep increasing the amount of chefs. Last okay. year we had thirty-two. This That's year again thirty-five. Just so we can have enough for everybody that wants and the more, soup. Yeah. Um, more restaurants. O's is participating uh, as, as an example, and uh, they're making um, twice. All the restaurants are making twice the quantity of the. Uh, the additional chefs, just so again, we're we're sure to have ample soup. And there's artisan breads. There's just a ton sure. of desserts. So you know, Superfest. You know what I what I was thinking about the show today. It's really about momentum now at the the Concord Coalition. There's a lot of momentum um, in in for the cause and trying to end homelessness in, in our community. Superfest is a great example because um, the community comes out in support day of. It's only $10 to get in for adults, $5 mm-hmm. for children. Mm-hmm. Um, there's 150 volunteers. Uh, there's over 50 sponsors uh, for the event. So it's a great, great community um, event. Uh, and I would you know encourage people to come. It's a great uh uh, inexpensive way to to help and and and, and to become uh, involved. I had somebody uh, who does who lives in one of the surrounding communities uh, come up to me last. I think it was last week uh, after Ellen, you had been on, and we talked about it. And they came up to me uh, in a neutral location and said, "Superfest, you you were talking about that." I said, "Yeah, is that is that new?" I said, "No, no, no. They've been doing it for you. That is a great idea. I want to go to that." I'm like, "Okay, mm-hmm. so." You have to keep reminding people year after year, you can't do just one and done because people are busy and they hear things they don't hear. So this person, for whatever reason, heard the show and went, that's fabulous. What a great, I'm going. I went, beautiful. Greg will be happy. You you know what's very interesting about that, I think, on on the homeless side as well as on the hunger side, is that a very little amount of money can make a very big difference. Mm -hmm. And and I think that um, in addition to government, as I said earlier, can't really handle that. Um, I don't think businesses have to handle that that whole burden either. I think there are ways that you can involve businesses to further engage uh, and uh, uh, with the local community to have people uh, with smaller amounts of money um, really be able to make a huge difference. Uh, in fact, Ellen and I are going to be talking in a week or two uh, about another initiative we're doing uh, with a company I have in Portsmouth that um, is is a way to engage the local community, um, not from a business perspective, but from a what what you do on a regular day to day basis can have a real impact on the homelessness and the hunger issue. So I look forward to that. You're sure you're not running for anything, right? No. <laughs> okay, no. <laughs> I think mean, it all but sounds do have, great. Do you have any offices that are available? Wonderful. I mean, I, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not making any money right now. Maybe I can make some money someplace. 100 bucks a year. <laughs> you know, I'm, I mean, in. Come on. Uh, I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> I, I wanted to add, too, it, you know, it, it's. It's not only feels good to be doing good, but also from a business perspective, um, it's very good for business. Sure it is. And it's very good. You know, the third reason, the third highest reason that individuals shop at the Concord Food Co-op is because of our involvement in the community. Oh, that's um, great. So they're aware of what we do in the community, mm-hmm. and so they want to support a business that is is that active in the community. So I would encourage you know, um, businesses in the community to to think of it from that perspective. It isn't just, you know, uh, the financial uh, uh, commitment, but it also is very good for business. Mm-hmm. Um, now, for Superfest, not this Saturday, but a week from, uh, is there a cutoff on how many people can come in? Um, you know, I just don't want people waiting. No. Okay. No, it, the line goes fairly quick because actually there isn't a line. They can go to the 35 soups lined up. They can go to okay, um, any, any one of them. Um, and... Uh, you know the, I I did want to mention that you know Superfest the sponsorship aspect of it is over. Um, however, we have a new event coming up, uh, a talent show, and, and I briefly mentioned that. And sponsorship uh, is available for that, and All that right. starts at just two hundred fifty dollars, and you get a ticket to the event. And I think it's going to be a sold out show. So I, I think yeah, uh, it's gonna, and it's going to be this fall. So you get, you still have time if you're if you become a sponsor. Uh, to get your name out well, there, to let people right. you know you're working with this. Well, we're going to come back. We're going to yeah. talk about that on the other side. Okay. Uh, Superfest, doors open at 2, soup comes at 4. Soup at 4. 4 to, four to 6.30 for the soup. Now, what's going on between 2 and 4 again? Uh, Fun and I Because I want to talk about this. Mm-hmm. I want to talk about that. I have a specific question about to Fun talk Fest. about okay. this. Okay. All right. About Fun Fest All right. and bringing families. 
Okay, can we yeah. do that after the break? That's what I'm thinking. Okay, good. We'll do that. Okay. We'll be back with the question and the answer <laughs> and the next stump speech right after this. <laughs> <laughs> I have to read the There is ongoing discussion in, in the classroom. That's great. About uh, the homelessness. And uh, this issue. is why we're doing this. Right. All right. And, we, and if you come to Superfest, you're helping out people right here in Concord that have no home. Right. That's wonderful. I, I mean, I think it's great for kids to know that this does exist and it is a community thing, not something from far away. You would, you would be surprised if you go to the coalition's uh, Facebook page how many uh, young individuals. Um, do something for the coalition. They, mm-hmm. you know, one girl uh, mitts, um, mitts gloves and she's, she sells them and she gives, uh, you know, for every five she makes, she gives the, the proceeds to the coalition. Oh, that's correct. Um, you know, there's another gentleman did a, a little a young boy did a, a food drive, mm-hmm. you know, and, and he brings it in. So you'd be surprised how, how uh, younger people are uh, involved in trying to end homelessness in our community. Ellen, when you work with your peers on a bigger scale, New Hampshire, New England, Mm -hmm. regional. Mm -hmm. Are they envious of something like this? Going, wow, what a great idea. Of Soup Fest? Yeah. Uh, I think every agency has their signature event. Do do they? Yes, Mm -hmm. absolutely. um, I can't name them all, but there was Cinco de Mayo is the FITS um, down in Manchester. They do that every year. I can't think off the top of my head what everyone's Dancing event with is. the stars. Right. So, so yeah. everybody yeah. has, everybody so, yeah. Yeah. Every group has, has yeah. a signature and, event. Right. Yeah, and every group can, needs sure. to raise funds. Yeah. Every group, yep. as we were saying before, the government can't do it all. We do get some government money, but this really has to be a community-wide effort. And and these events are a good way to raise awareness as yep. well as and, raise and, funds. Bingo. It, it, it really is a double-edged sword. All right, yeah. so now we're going to shift from uh, March 30th, Superfest, to October. We're talking the talent show. O- o- October fifth, uh, and, and and all the information on Superfest as well as the talent show is on the website uh, ConcordHomeless.org. Yep. The what we really need right now is the talent, and mm-hmm. so we probably have about seven acts uh, signed up. I'm aware of about five others, but um, I think there'll be a considerable amount uh, signing up at the last minute. Um, it is uh, the deadline for signing up is uh, April first. So, so you so got to move. You got to get a week. So uh, yeah. really hoping that you know individuals out there that have talent or have somebody that has talent, you know, ask them to go to our website, get mm-hmm. the information, the rules, and to uh, sign up. But it, it is not just singing. You know, the uh, the co-op's executive chef. Um, he manages for Super Superfest. He runs the kitchen uh, in two weeks. He's running the kitchen. But on the talent show, he'll be up on the stage in a seer. So that's a big, like, hula hoop that he's riding around in and performing. Wow. So uh, we are wow. looking and at... And that's a talent. Cool. That is wow. a talent. We are looking at, you know, diverse acts to, yeah. uh, you know... In, you know uh, um, one of the individuals that's heading up the uh, the, the talent committee, um, she would love to see a poodle with a dog uh, with a, with a uh, ball on its nose. Oh, so, see, that'd uh, be perfect. See, that's so, the old perfect. Ed Sullivan so, show thing. Yeah, well, right. well it is. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's yeah. share yeah. your talents no matter what your talents are. Right. I so. want the people with the plates. Uh, I, yeah. like, oh, I, I like the plates. plates. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Plates fun. So keep putting a shout out for plate. Uh, <laughs> hey, yeah. All you plate balancing people. Wow. Poor moms. Poor moms listening to us. What are you doing with my plates? Yeah, I know. Uh, and, and, uh, so if they go to ConcordHomeless.org, there is a spot there where talent can sign up? Right. Okay. Right. Awesome. And, and you know, why do we do these shows? I mean, the- Why the, do you do these shows? <laughs> I, because <laughs> the coalition, you know, ending homelessness is possible. And, and But what does that require? Well, that requires, you know, a lot of funding for that to happen. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, I'd like Ellen to address that, you know, where the and, and the savings from it once you get, you know- yeah, it, for someone who's been homeless for a long time, it actually costs the community more through increased use of different services. Sure, the ambulance gets called a lot. You end up in the ER a lot. Yeah. You end up in jail mm-hmm. often. So it it actually costs the community quite a bit in public services when somebody is long-term chronically homeless and, mm-hmm. and their underlying issues are going unaddressed. Um, so And when you can provide housing and rental assistance and supportive services to help somebody make the transition to being housed and deal with their underlying issues, it actually costs less dollar-wise. Mm-hmm. So it's smart for the whole community. And I think it takes a real commitment, though, from a community. It takes dedicating those resources up front mm-hmm. rather than having them spread out with the ER visits. Right, um, exactly, exactly. And, and there are three communities in the United States that have ended chronic homelessness. They've, they've 
made sure that everyone has access to housing and supportive services. There's still people who fall into homelessness, but their system to help those folks, it works so much better when the people who are long-term homeless have the have permanent supportive housing. Um, mm-hmm. Ellen, what, what communities are those, just for interest's sake? I knew you were going to ask oh, that. Oh, sorry. Um, it's Ber- <laughs> Bergen sorry. County, New Jersey, okay. Lancaster, Pennsylvania, and I am blanking on the third one. But I'm they're sorry. communities that would be similarly sized, sure. maybe. Yeah, to, or, to bigger. Yeah. Or, yeah. or bigger. Or bigger. Yeah. Or bigger. Yeah. number four. We could be. That's we could be. And, but it does take a commitment. It takes a commitment. Mm-hmm. CCH cannot do that alone. We cannot end homelessness in Concord by ourselves, our little five-person agency. But with the commitment of the entire community and the other service providers and housing providers and the community as a whole to dedicate mm-hmm. the funds that would be needed to do that, so we can it, do that. It doesn't take a village. It takes a community. Well, and it, ta- uh, and it takes mm-hmm. housing. And it takes housing first yeah. because if you can – stabilize the situation with housing uh, with housing you could stabilize right their situation in life right it's extremely hard to deal with um with substance use disorder or mental health sure. issues or physical issues mm-hmm. uh, um if from a shelter or from yeah, the know. streets or down at the river it's just very very hard to mm-hmm. to stabilize now, the now rest th- of your these, life these two events uh, the Superfest on the Town show very engaging very community friendly very uh, easy to get involved with uh, I've seen some communities have done the spend a night outside so you realize what homeless. Mm-hmm. I don't think that makes a transition to me uh, because you have a bunch of people all kind of like, oh, well, this is fun. This is right. I-, I think you're missing the point. I understand what they want as a desired end result. I don't think they're getting it. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure there's some value to those those nights. Right. Um, uh, our church participated in one a few years ago down in, I live in the Milford area, sure. but, um, but it is an ongoing thing. And one night outside in a cardboard box does not tell you what the life of someone That's, is like yeah. when, when that, uh, uncertainty about where I'm going to stay tonight and the instability, where am I going to get my mail? Mm-hmm. Everything. I um, if you're driving right now, think about that. Where are you staying tonight? What are you going to eat tonight? Oh, do you have mail? Where, where's mail? You can't get an internet. You uh, think about what your life would be like, and it's like, oh, uh, that that kind of uncertainty I could not live with. And I think it's exhausting. Yeah, I mean, you, oh, you, yeah. you know, everyone. It's, when we get to constant. our homes, you can. It's you can, constant, right? Yeah. And which is a good time to bring up the resource center. So the Concord Coalition to End Homelessness runs a resource center. Uh, the resource center. Um, provides a mailing address. It provides uh, computers. You have mm-hmm. the opportunity to work on computers, showers, um, laundry facilities. So uh, that all that costs money to maintain that as well. ConcordHomeless.org if you want more information on Superfest. ConcordHomeless.org for the talent show if you have talent. Hey, even if you don't, that could be a hoot too. <laughs> yeah. uh, check it out. <laughs> that could be fun. Uh, but Greg, uh, Ellen, Michael, thank you. Thank you very much. Please come back. And uh, a week from... Saturday. 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 Thank you.